Win or go home. Welcome to a special episode of Wild Playoff Basketball on Solo Dolo Sports YouTube channel. Game 7. Wild take on the Timberwolves. As you can see, it's tied 3-3, and which means we're going to Game 7 in Minnesota. Um, let me first of all say I've enjoyed this ride. Uh, the fact that we were able to basically almost complete, almost sweep Dallas. Dallas only got one game during that series, and us winning four games and going on to the next series. And then seeing how we push this team to the brink of being eliminated has been one of the most thrilling rides I've had as a gamer, as a guy who, as a gamer, as a sports gamer. It's been one of the most thrilling rides I've had. I've had some thrilling rides in my gaming history. I mean, I've taken the Lions to the Super Bowl, of course lost. <laughs> you know, I took the Pistons to the finals, of course lost, you know. I mean, but I've had success. I've you know, won two Super Bowls in a series. It took a while to do it, but I finally did it, you know. Um, I've won the Sugar Bowl with a Conference USA team, you know. I've had some thrilling rides in my series, in my gaming history. But this has been one of the most proudest I've been because I put this team together. I really didn't do anything. I'm, I'm a GM, um, and the team has done way better than I expected. But on the same note, you know, I feel like the team, the way it started this season to how successful we were, I feel like this team is on the brink of something special. And I felt like that we could have won that game in Vancouver, and we should have won. Now we're in a Game 7 situation. And honestly, I can tell you guys this right now. I don't expect this. I don't expect the Wild to go on to the Western Conference Finals. I think we have to get a game in Minnesota. We have gotten a game in Minnesota. But Minnesota's clearly the better team. They got, you know, the best, one of the best centers in the game. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns killed us. I mean, I think he scored, yeah, they said 47 points. I mean, the guy could do no wrong. You know, in that game. And if we let him go off like that, I mean, we could, we owed him 20, 30 something points, we might have a chance. But if we let him score 47 points, the game, the, this series is over. And he proved it in game six. I mean, he basically, he basically, he basically dominated us in game six. And if, you know, but, can he do it again? And will other players step up? You know, this is game seven, and they're and they're on their floor. So it's going to be tough. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Of course, go back out and see who's in the next series. Philly and Atlanta make it. So it'll be Philly and Atlanta for, in the East. And it'll be Houston and either us or Minnesota. Here we go. I'm just ready to get this over with. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and hold it on too longer. It, this is, this is, if we're going to, if this is it, this is it. You know, we... We come a long way. I mean, I'm very proud of the team. I think the team did a really good job. The team really did a good job, and we had a great season. But if this is the end, this is the end. It was a great run. It was a great run. Especially this was this has been a really great year. So we're gonna get into it. Go ahead. I mean, I'm starting this sort of early. Usually, I don't work on these videos till later in the day. But I said, nah, I just want to kind of get it over with. This is Game Seven. 
if we're not going to make it, we're not going to the Western Conference Finals, let's decide it now and get it over with. But it's been a fun ride, man. I've enjoyed, you know, because usually I'm all about football, football, football all the time. You know, I play college football, I play Madden. It's all about football, football. It was nice to have a series that was really this big in basketball. A series I really enjoyed. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. capacity crowd in the Soulmate Arena here in downtown Minneapolis. Here it is, folks. Game 7 of the Western Conference Semifinals. These two teams have battled hard, but it's only one that will move on. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. We'll take a look at the Timberwolves. The good news is they'll enjoy a home court advantage for this, the deciding game. And really, a deciding game like this, everything's magnified. And, and sometimes that can be a challenge. But the best players find a way to channel that energy. Playing in front of this great home crowd, I believe, can only help. Let's check out Vancouver's starting lineup. They've got Garland, Parker out there with Adams. Then there's Dumboy, and it's Dean in at the shooting guard. And the re oh, come by on. town. And his foot movement is what makes Town such a terrific shot blocker. Yeah. He moves so well and can defend just about so far so good on the floor. <laughs> and he what I expected. The rhythm early, nice triple. And here is Parker, following the three pointer by Andrew Wiggins. Green against Parker. Oh. Great tee that time from Green. We play just over a minute here in the first. Hero passes to Towns. Unloads from 13. The shot. Why did he make it? So Vancouver will take it the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. The putback, yeah. and Parker stays with it. Your small forward stays active like Jabari Parker did that time down low. You'll get second chance opportunities. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with Vancouver's head coach. Winning an elimination game on the road is one of the hardest tasks in the NBA, if not the hardest. When I brought that up to him, he said, that's something for the media and fans to talk about. We're not thinking about Good. where we are or the odds or anything like that. We're just looking to play the best game we can. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. And so it's Minnesota with it after Vancouver got the three-pointer. Now, here's Wiggins. Defense right on him. Bucket is good. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up, GA. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Here's D. Yeah. A little luck that time, but it drops. Five points in the game. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. One thing I can say is I feel like with Jesse Dean, we got a future with him. I mean, as a pretty good shooting guard. I still think we need to improve at guard. Um, I, I really could use a guy like Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, I, I would love to have that guy, but I like Adams. I like what we got. We got Adams. We got Harold coming off the bench. I like that. I want to keep it. You know, I, I just think we need to improve at guard. I think if I can get Adams back signed, you make that deal, you get him back signed. Ah, oh, cool. Dean's hot. Uh, <laughs> which is good. Um, but, yeah. Um, I get that deal done with Adams, you know, and then I can look at guard. I can look at getting a guard. Because um, Avery Bradley, I'm pretty sure I'm not bringing Avery Bradley back. Um, Avery Bradley... Is a good bench player, but I could save the money and go get someone I, at guard. I could really improve us at guard. Go Dean! Yeah! And then I had a 
question. I sort of was like thinking about this last night. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not sure why it came up because I know, like, they say Vancouver, British Columbia. British Columbia is part of Ken, ain't it? I mean, you would, I think it should be. I mean, it's just weird. I, I was like, oh man, I know I'm going to get like some crap if anyone ever watches these videos. It's like, what the hell is he talking about? Is he an idiot? I mean, <laughs> you know. You made a team and you don't know where the team is at? <laughs> I'm not figuring Vancouver's Canada. I mean, yeah, it is Canada. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's Canada. It is Canada. But I hear British Columbia and I'm like, British Columbia? I mean, this may, I mean, ah, never mind me, I'm stupid. But, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think I need to improve at guard. I think Darius Garland's a good point guard, a great point guard. He's, he's been really good in the playoffs, really, really good. Um, but I don't think you go in next year and just say, hey, we're good with the way the team is. Now I'm completely good with what the team, how the team is now. Like, this team is solid. I'm like, nah, I still think I need another piece. I still think I need uh, at least improve at shooting guard or get a star point, another star veteran point guard and Garland coming off the bench. I think you go that route, but I'm not sure. I, I think it's shooting guard. I think I just need a better shooting guard. I think Dean's a future good guard coming off. I think he's, I think Dean's good coming off the bench. I don't. If you can get like, okay, they drilled it. If you can get like a super, a sort of mid superstar to come in at, in the at guard position with the big men that we already have, you know, you got Jabari Parker, you got Prince. Even though if I had it my way, I, I think I would almost be interested in trading Prince. And the only reason I say that is because Prince sort of disappears too much for me. I think uh, our small forward position is okay, but I think it can it can improve. I mean, I think, ooh, good, Garland. It can improve, you know? I mean, we don't have, I mean, Tory and Prince, I mean, I always, I don't know how the NBA contracts really, really work. I mean, it's really weird, especially when compared to the NFL. It's like, the contract situation is so different because you know in the NFL you got a you got a salary cap and you live and die by that salary cap. You know you you there is the, the NFL's got a salary cap and you follow that salary cap. In the NBA, it's all the contracts are so weird. You know you got all sorts of you know you got bird rights and you got you know cer certain things. Three is gonna make that three. We don't have no perimeter defense either. We really don't. Like, Minnesota's got a perimeter defense, but we sort of don't. <laughs> How y'all liking these new Vancouver unis? There's another uniform combination I came up with, the Vancouver unis. I like the black. The black with a van on it. It's pretty cool. But... Who they're putting in there? They're gonna go backups. They still got Towns in there. Uh, Harold must be playing uh, playing at power forward right now, which is fine. I just don't want you know Adams on the bench while Towns is in there because I think Towns would completely kill me if Adams ain't in there. I don't think Adams really can. Def I don't think there's no answer for Towns. Adams has not really defended him really great. My my big men haven't really defended him really great. And that should have been expected. Um, Towns is like a beast in this game. Oh my God, look how he just dumped all over Harold like he was nothing. I mean, what can you do about that? And I have this question. I don't watch the NBA too much. Is is he really this good? 
I mean, is he really like, you can't do anything against him. He's like, he's like unguardable. You can't do anything with him. Is he really that good? You know, <laughs> it's just crazy to me. But, uh, I just want y'all to know, man, this has been really fun. Um, the videos probably don't. I could have got more video. I could have probably got more views if I loaded this to Facebook, <laughs> where most of my audience is at. But YouTube is just so much quicker and so much fun. It's so much fun to load the videos. The videos load like nothing. Uh, and I just wanted to take this series to YouTube. And I think... I may not get that many views, but I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And that's the main thing you gotta, I get out of it, is just enjoying content. Ooh, good shot, Tory Prince. Getting good content that you really just enjoy, man. If you enjoy making the content, you enjoy the games, you enjoy, you know, seeing the team that you created, you know, actually have success and in the league, and you know, and you have fun with it, then you have, I have no regrets, man. Oh, Covenant got back. I was sure Prince was gonna score there. But we let Towns get the rebound and he kills us. Yeah, there's just no answer for the guy. I mean, I just don't answer for him. But the main thing is you you enjoy what you're you're I enjoy it and that's the main thing. I enjoyed watching the games. I enjoyed the season. And I did. I really enjoyed myself. Enjoyed the heck out of it. It was really fun. I'm talking like this series is over, but I know I know that this series is over, man. I mean, the wild had a good run. I mean, we pushed the number one seed to the brink of being eliminated, you know. It was a good playoff run. I I feel like it was a great playoff run, you know. I feel like it was a great playoff run. And I think that I can't wait for the offseason. Offseason video will be coming up very, very soon. I don't know. Maybe very soon. Maybe I might take a break from the wild basketball for a while. But not that long of a break since I'm just watching the games pretty much. Because I kind of want to get back into my college football series with the Columbia State Supercharger. I really love that series. And I'm really starting to miss it. I, I, don't, I think my last game was in February and now we're, of course, in April. So it's been a while. I usually take breaks from big series like that. Maybe I need to take a break from this series like that. But at the same time, I kind of want to get to the off season and see what we do and see what I can do in the off season to uh, make this team better or probably make it worse. <laughs> I mean, if I lose Adams, man, I'm not going to really feel good about the season. Um, I, I think it's very important that we keep Adams on the team. I think it's very important that we keep Adams on the team, but I also think it's important that we bring in more talent. A guy that can score a lot. We need a guy that can score a lot, that's consistent with the scoring. I think, I don't know what you do with the, with the Timberwolves. I think the Timberwolves with Carl Anthony Towns is, as long as they have Carl Anthony Towns, they're going to be a problem for us. I just don't see how I can match up with them. The only thing I say is, you know, get better guard play. Get guys that can shoot. As we're getting, starting to, they're starting to pull away. We're starting to get blown the hell out. <laughs> but, uh. That's the only thing I can come up with is like we just good Harold. 
We just need to get better guard play. A forward would probably be nice too. If I could trade Torian Prince, if I'm able to, because I always thought players that have the player option can't be traded. But it would make sense if you could trade them because then, again, you know, they get the player only contract going to the other team. And then the other team can decide, okay, we want to play this guy to the player option becomes a thing. And the player can decide whether he wants to come back or not. Yeah, I also took Jacob Evans out of the game. Out of the game. He was cold. Probably shouldn't have done it. Evans, we've been riding with J Jacob Evans all season, and I decided to take him out now in a critical game seven. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I'm just like trying to do my best to see if I can get this team to, to beat. I just want to win this game and go on to the Western Conference Finals. If we go to Western Conference Finals, I'm going to feel really, really good. But I feel good enough as it is, man. I mean, like I said, we took the number one seed and pushed them to seven games. I think that's commendable. I think we did a good job. I don't think that, you know, I think that we had as good of a season as you possibly could have. As good of a season as you could have coming off of expansion year where we went 132 games. Now we won 48 games, so we had a 16-game improvement. Um, playoffs, were, we did a, I think we did a really good in the playoffs. Would have loved to have gotten the Western Conference Finals, but probably not going to happen. Uh, we just don't have the shooters that Minnesota got. I mean, look at these guys. They can shoot it. They make their shots. Um, Towns, it's not just Towns either. It's just, you know... Ooh, good job, Gilchrist. Um, they got a team, man. They got a lot of, you know, they got Wiggins, you know. It's, I got Adams and Garland, but Garland's not a superstar. I think I need a superstar to go along with Adams. And I think the team will be a whole lot better, maybe even competing to get to the, not just the Western Conference Finals, but getting to the uh, finals completely. I mean, it would be great to see the Wild make it to the finals. And I want us to continue our success that we're having, but I want us to, like, be a lot better. Ooh, good steal. Gilchrist. As far as other series, I'm like, okay, this series will eventually end. I think this is ending today. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, good three, man. Bleak. We're still in it, but like I said, we just don't have what they have. I mean, I expect to be put out today. But as far as other series, this series might be on hiatus for a while. I definitely want to, yeah, mismatch. I definitely want to, I got to help defense on. I don't know why I, the bar, I even raised it up and nobody helps anybody on defense. You can see that Fred Van Fleet cannot guard Kaminsky, but yet nobody was there to help him. Hey, get some fouls, get to the line. Um, Chargers baseball, um, I got two more games left in the regular season. We're we're gonna have to know. I'm gonna have the number one seed. Uh, Chargers baseball will be on my Facebook channel. Um, we'll I'll do the playoffs on my Facebook channel um, because it's not a main series. I consider the Wild a main series. I consider Columbia State a main series. Titans are a main series too. I do games. I might even do the playoff run for the Titans. The whole playoff run on. Uh, on YouTube, see if we can win a third Super Bowl, which right now we look like one of the favorite teams. Uh, right now, uh, currently the uh, yeah, currently uh, the 
Titans, uh, my Titans team is undefeated. We're 5-0. and oh, Along with the Eagles, the Panthers, and the Chiefs. So, we're, we're looking really good. Had real fun. Had a lot of fun with that Houston game last night. And then, of course, I dressed, I put the team in the old, you call them the Houston Oilers. But, when, of course, when Tennessee got here, and if you guys don't know Titans history or Tennessee Titan history, the, the Tennessee Titans were called the Tennessee Oilers <laughs> back in 1998. They were, they never changed. They didn't, when Houston, the Houston Oiler franchise came over to, uh, ooh, good rebound, came over to Tennessee, they were not called, they did not rename the team immediately. They were called the Tennessee Oilers, <laughs> you know. So I had the old school Tennessee Oiler uniforms on. Before someone got smart and said, yeah, we may need a better name. And Oilers don't really fit Tennessee. I don't think we got any oil here. I'm sure we do, but maybe we, I'm not No, I don't think we're known for oil. So someone got smart. Shot clock violation. Someone got smart and uh, named the team a different name and called them the Titans, which fits. I mean, it, it fits. I mean, it's it's it was a good name. I, I I love I love the Titans. Of course, I live here in Tennessee, so you know, originally from Michigan, but I lived in Tennessee for most of my life. I mean, it's a pretty decent state. Um, I think the summers are too hot, and I think we got like, uh, well. They're not, there's not much to do. <laughs> it's very boring. But maybe boring is good. If, if you're boring, means that, you know, things are safe. You know? <laughs> and so. Oddly enough, I, I've been to some sporting events. I've never been to a Titans game. You'd think I would have been to a Titans game, but I've never really been to a Titans game. The Titans are like my second favorite team. Of course, my favorite team is Detroit, Detroit Lions. But Detroit Lions never do anything. They don't have any success. Not a successful franchise at all. Um, Tennessee's about, probably about to get back that way. Um, we keep, they keep losing players. I mean, this offseason's been brutal for the Titans. It's been brutal. Terry. Bruce Terry. All right. So. But, uh. Yeah, I got Chargers baseball coming to, uh. I got Chargers baseball and the playoff run will be on my Facebook channel. I won't be posting it on YouTube. Is not a main series. And I'm looking to get into MLB The Show. Since they moved, you know, the show, the show is, you know, now cross-platform where I can have it on my uh, Xbox. And I'm hoping to get it on my Xbox Series X whenever I can get a hold of one. I mean, it's getting ridiculous. I think the summer, yeah, Xboxes, you can get, you can get a new uh, system easy, easily. I kind of want to get into the new consoles before in my next and get some more series started because I have a new console. But hard to get a hold of one. And I'm not going to stalk my uh, internet scouring for one every day. It just gets frustrating. Ready to go, man. Me and you, Lee. I got me and you, Lee. He's usually a point guard, but I put him at shooting guard at a shooting guard in in place of because Dean's got Evans' place and me and you, Lee's got uh, Dean's place. You 
guys are sure calling a lot of fouls, man. Oh, God. So, Chargers baseball, and then, of course, this series will likely end eventually. I mean, if we get to the Western Conference Finals, I will be shocked if we make it to the Western Conference Finals. I don't expect it, but if it happens, I'll be thoroughly, I will be immensely surprised if this series isn't over today. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I got Chargers baseball coming up with the playoff run. Um, other than that, I mean, the one thing I want to do is... Why, why, Adams? The one thing I want to do is get Super, Super Charger started. If y'all guys know me, the reason why I even do sports content... Is because of NCAA football 14. I still I think it's one of the greatest games ever made, as far as football. I think it makes Madden look Madden today look completely sorry. I mean, Madden is a joke compared to what NCAA football 14 is, and uh, I enjoy the heck out of that series that I got going there with the Columbus State Supercharger the team I came up with in Team Builder back in 2017. And uh, one of my favorite series of all time. And love the series. And what I usually do for videos for that series, I definitely, um, I do the first game and the first big home game. Like if we take on like, you know, we've played Vanderbilt, you know, at home. I haven't done that in a while, you know, because I, I try to be realistic. I mean, can't have Tennessee come to Columbia, Tennessee, to come go play a football game. It wouldn't be feasible. But uh, Vanderbilt, I'm like, yeah, Vanderbilt will work. Vanderbilt isn't, like, they're not. <laughs> Anyone knows Vanderbilt, you know that Vanderbilt's not, like, the main school that people think about. I mean, they got a good academics, but they're not, like, they're not a sports mecca. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to accuse them for being a sports mecca. How did he miss that? I thought he was going to make that. How did he miss that? I'm doing a lot of talking because, like I said, I don't expect this to win, man. This, this series is over. Especially when they do stuff like that. But he didn't make it. So I'm not the only one, that, only team that can't make shots. Good job, Prince. Guys, I mean, and that's just the truth. I mean, I think you got more um, connection with these teams that you create more than just these teams that you just play with, man. Um, like the Titans. I love the Titans, you know, but I really love, like, Columbus State Supercharger and things like that. Teams I created, like I created this team, I created, you know, the Chargers baseball team, you know, I, you know, so you have an affinity and you want those teams that you created to have success. It's really fun, man, to watch. This season's been so much fun. Get in there, Dean. Dean had it. He could have just pulled up and shot it. He let the defense get on him. They got a really good interior defense too, man. Obviously, you got that guy <laughs> who we can't do anything about. <clears throat> we can't do nothing about him. And that sort of really, really sucks, man. It really, really sucks that we just, we just don't have, we don't have what they have. It ain't, it's not just him. It's, it's just, they just have a better team. Come on, Prince. Okay, here comes Harold. Who's sitting down for uh okay, Harold's coming in as a power forward. I like that move. Alright. Always has this feeling that Torian Prince is Damari Carroll 2.0 for this club. Good size, big frame, capable defender. 
but each year taking some strides on the offensive end to become more and more dangerous. Now, here's Garland. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Get in there. What are you doing? And oh! Getting by town. Of course. Why are you doing that? Just pull up and shoot. Outside Covington. You are not going to go in the lane on him. Feeds it to Towns. And he uses yeah. the glass on the way. Towns has got 10 points. That's their third straight make off an assist. Garland, the pass to Dean. This one for three. Garland, no good. Oh. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He brought it all season, all playoffs, but eventually I knew it was going to are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort Starting on the pull away. And that was some serious effort. You gotta there. answer. Here's Adams. Prince outside. Prince. 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 Three pointer. Prince has got seven now in this quarter. Gotta the answer. First quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Pass to Towns. Shoots over Adams. Doesn't and matter. the bucket on the assist by Wiggins. Yeah. 14 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Vancouver trails by eight. Pass to Dean. And he's hot. I hate Carl Anthony Towns, man. I can't One stand him. One left now here in the second. Good stand him. To the inside. Ducky. I the still place. can't stand him. Shoots over Covington. Offensive rebound. Yeah. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, love the aggressive play here from Adams. He gets the shot he wants, and now another opportunity to challenge himself at the free throw line. For Vancouver, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. And he knocks down the first one. The 12th pick in the NBA draft back in 2013. The cool thing would be, Kevin, if Steven Adams plays as many seasons as he has siblings. That would be 17. Vancouver making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. So he picks Good. up just one yeah. from the line that time. Hey. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. Now, here's Wiggins. He's got eight. Pass to Towns. Inside, Covington. Good defense. By Bradley. Good defense. Prince outside. The pass to Garland. Adams outside. Prince, the pass to Harold. Get in there, Harold. Just five on the clock. Get in there, Harold. Oh, no. what are you Carl doing? Anthony Towns. Towns has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Finish off the break. Towns has got 16 points. Flat out taking the game over and there's no way he's going to give it up. Here's Garland. Here's Adams. Yeah. Pops in the layup for two. Well, Steven Adams always working the offensive glass. Strong and aggressive in there and gets that second chance hoop. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Over Bradley. And it's Wiggins missing. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. That we should be down by more. So. Downs killed us, but we're still sort of in it. Not bad. Now, the be worse. Sports Halftime Show. It'll be a whole lot worse. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We hope you're enjoying this round two conference semifinal. For the Timberwolves, it was a good, solid first half of basketball they played, and I'm sure they're going to be focused on extending that lead quickly in the third quarter to ensure this is not a Game 7 that's going to go right down to the wire. 
And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? Big Cat is like the poster child for the modern day big. Can score on all three levels. Efficient, hits for high percentages. Another one of those young stars who can be as good as he wants to be. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, the way I see it, they're losing this game because they're being out-rebounded. You can't give up this kind of differential well, and expect to remain competitive. We're not going to get out. We're going to lose. You commit more guys to the glass. Guards included. You make it a priority that if you do ultimately lose this game, it's not because you didn't rebound. Yep. Getting out rebound. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Yep. You get out rebound it, you're probably going to lose. Especially a team like us who were really, really about rebounding. We're on side at Game 7 as this series comes to a head. Colonel Anthony Towns has been sensational. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. All right. We're going to go to the fourth quarter, see if it's a game. If it's a game, we watch. If it's not, we send them to about the end. Here we go. I want to lower this to medium so that we're going to get too ahead of ourselves. Start seven. Season's over. Season's over. I've, I've come to peace with I've I've made peace with it. It's like, yeah, I mean, it was a good run. We did what we could, you know, you did what you could, it's a good run, but it's over. Or, or is it? <laughs> They're making me wonder. All right, guys, uh, final quarter of the season, I'm thinking, but maybe not. We'll see. Here's Hero. Riggins and Covington fill the wing. Towns is out there with Jermichael Green. And it's Hero in at the point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Wiggins and contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. Oh, crap. It's on Jabari Parker. That's crap. Throw good, Wiggins. He's off on the second. Wow, he Not missed a perfect that. trip to the line, he but at least he made this game a two possession affair. I went with it. Passes to Parker. The block. Dow's ain't doing it, so their other person's doing it. He's covered closely, and that one, good. And the Timberwolves lead by seven. Covington's gone 50% so far. Two of four shooting. Garland, the pass to Dean. He kicks it to Garland. Over to the wing. Pass to Dean. Six to shoot. Rebound, Minnesota. Oh. Green's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Hero passes to Towns. Higgins outside. Here's Hero. Shoots over to Boyer. Towns. Ah! Uh, stupid lead. super yeah, sim getting my hopes up. Right Consistency. We're not going to win this. From the paint. One more, man. About now, seven. Here's two boy. Defended by Covington. They get a hand on it. Oh, That's crap. great. Minnesota goes up. Hammers it on the polish off the break. So smart in these situations. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do this to myself. I'm not doing it to myself. If it's over, it's over, man. I'm not going to sit here and watch us get destroyed, man. 
and they're pouring it on. We can't score. I need more consistent guard play, and we don't have it. We need scores. We just don't have it. That's our season, guys. It's over. Our season's over. That's a miracle can happen. 103 left in the fourth quarter. There's the pass to Dean, Prince, and the corner. Harold trying to free himself. No! And again, it's Vancouver missing. And Minnesota has possession. They've led by as many as 11 points. Pass to Town. Here's Becker. Good, and as this goes to town. That's all. Once they smell blood in the water, you can see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. They're behind by nine. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And you know what? They're not ready to give up yet. They'll try to intentionally foul if they can get a quick hoop. Vancouver making a switch here. Terry's checked in. Prince outside. Inside. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Doesn't matter. Shoot. Quick shot, shoot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He drops the first one. That brings them within eight. And he is unable to get the second one. So it's the Timberwolves now. Coming to the I need to court. see this. I need to see it. See. Team needs to see this. 15 seconds left to play here in the fourth. You want to go to the Western Conference Finals? You want to be a competitor Six in this league? Clock. You got to play better than you got to play like this team did. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Tries from 16, and it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. They trail by eight. One second left in the fourth quarter. Well, Let's take, guys. Guys. Try to get this over a little with. late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your timeouts with you, so they're going to use it. I don't know why. Off the inbound. It's over. This is there. And that's going to do it for this series. The rule. They took the long road to get here, but they've done it. They're moving on to the conference finals, Greg, after a thrilling seven-game series. Wild season's over. In round two. And what a memorable series this was. So fitting that it came down to a game seven. And now, no rest for the weary. They've got to get right back to work. Yeah. Just like that. I remember when this uh, season started against the Raptors and we beat the Raptors for the first time in our franchise's history. I remember that all the way to here. It's been a fun ride. We pushed the number one seed to a game seven. We pretty much swept Dallas in the first round. We improved from 32 wins to 48 wins in our first expansion season to, to this season. Nothing to hold your head down about. We need to improve, though. 30 points for Towns, 18 rebounds. He's dominant, as always. A double-double, too, for uh, Jermichael Green. Two blocks. Three blocks for Towns. Two blocks for Kaminsky. Hero, 11 points. Wiggins, 11 points. I thought he'd be more dominant than he actually was. So Michael Green, I will we'll never forget him. He gave us problems. Skoji was good. He was two for nine, though. Didn't do all that great. 
just a really good team. Got to give it up. Hats off to them. They just have a good team. And it's Thornton Prince who leads everybody with 16 points. He, he hasn't had a game like that in a while. Still didn't win. Jabari Parker was probably really bad. And if Jabari Parker is really off, we tend to lose. He's the, he's the one that stirs the drink. 13 points, 3 rebounds, 2 steals for Dean. He was really good in these playoffs, too. Really is a good guard. I don't think he's a starter, but I think he's a good bench player coming off the bench. Uh, Van Fleet, 13 points. Um, good, solid vet. Good bench point guard. You get Gilchrist. Of course, he's, he's not worth the money I'm paying him, but he's had moments in the playoffs that were really good. He did a good job. Ye, of course, 10 points. Really solid little player off the bench. Like him, really do. Uh, Harrell, of course, won six man of the year. Didn't do all that great in the playoffs, though. Wasn't really a great playoff. Wasn't really a great playoff for him. And Parker was just not good. And if Parker's not good, we're not going to win. Adams, of course, needs to score a little bit more, but and he didn't have that many rebounds. He sort of didn't do all that great in the series either, and that's probably why we're going home. We need Adams to be Adams. We need him to be dominant, and he wasn't going to be dominant in this series where you're dealing with Carl Anthony Towns. And just like that, man, our season's over. Timberwolves won the first quarter. We sort of won the second quarter. We did have got a good third quarter, and then it kind of got away from us in the fourth quarter. It was a good run. It was a good run. The Vancouver Wild have been eliminated. Da -da -da. It's over. That was fun, though. What a fun second season, man. And, of course, season three is going to be coming up. We're going to have the off season. Be a special video on that. So it'll be Minnesota and Houston in the west and Philadelphia and Atlanta in the east. Um... It was a hell of a run, man. Hell of a run. Hell of a run. But if you guys haven't checked this out, upcoming free agents. Here's what we're looking at. LeBron James, yeah, he's the greatest player of all time. I'm pretty sure that the Lakers will re-sign him or he will retire. Don't know. But I'm not looking to bring in LeBron James. Paul George is always a great player. It'll be interesting to have 31 years old. He's still 31 years old. He's an interesting free agent. You have to pay him, though. You will have to pay him a lot of money to get him here. Luka Doncic, you know, I'm pretty sure he's young. I'm sure he's got a player option contract or a team option contract. And they will bring him back to the Mavs. He, he's not going. He's not going anywhere. He's too good. Uh, Damian Lillard could be available. It will cost a lot to get him. I would like to have Dame in Vancouver. It would definitely change things in Vancouver. But we want to keep Adams, and I just don't think it'll happen. Donovan Mitchell will be probably re-signed by the uh, what team he plays for? The Jazz. Yeah, he'll be resigned. Victor Oladipo would be interesting, and I would love to bring him in as a as a as a as a as a shooting guard. I think that he's he, we could actually go for him and pay him pretty well. I don't know how much money other teams will throw at him, 
but we're going to put our hat in the ring to try to get him here. He would be a great guard to get. Oh, my God. With him and, and um, Steven Adams on the same team, I think that that would be the way to go. Trey Young, of course, will probably be resigned by the Hawks. Bradley Beal's another interesting one. He's kind of young, though, 27 years old. Bradley Beal would be very interesting to have in Vancouver. If I could try to get him. And we might trade Troy and Prince. I might see about trading him. Putting him on a trade block. Uh, Fox, most likely will be back with the Kings, I would think. No, but Griffin. Jaron Jackson Jr., I'm sure he's got a player team option contract. He'll be back with the Grizzlies. Rudy Gobert. I got Harold and Adams. I'm not. I'm happy with what we got. But if I lose Adams, there's Rudy Gobert. And he's 20 years old. But I'd rather keep Adams, to be honest with you. We can bring in Chris Paul. But Chris Paul gets paid a lot of money. He's also playing for Houston, and Houston is still in the playoffs. So don't look to get him. CJ McCollum would be interesting, very interesting. He's 29 years old. $29 million, do I really want to pay him that kind of money? Probably not. I pay him somewhere in the $20 million range. Would be nice to get him. Otis Bear will be resigned by the Hawks. So that's not happening. Lonzo Ball will possibly be resigned by the Lakers. So Gilgis, I think he plays for the Clippers in this series. He'll most likely stay a Clipper. Jay Morant will stay with the uh, Hawks. And then we got Steven Adams. He made $27 million. We have to pay him. We have to get him back. That is my number one goal, and to bring in another guard. If I had to make some trades, I will. If I had to make some trades, I will make trades. And I'm adding Torian Prince to the trade block. 27 years old. His contract is sort of, I mean, his contract ain't that steep. He makes about $12 million a year. If I could trade him, I'd rather trade him and, 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 and shave off some of that money and find a cheaper forward and then just improve at guard. So we'll see. We'll add him to the trade block. And that's it, guys. That's the end of our season. You guys want to find out who won the finals? You got to tune into the off-season video. Off-season video could be in about a month or so, probably in a couple of weeks, two weeks to a month. I'll do the off season, post it here on YouTube. I'm going to rewatch what I did in my first off season and try not to make the same mistakes. I think I made, I think the off season went really well last time, but I went in there not really knowing anything. Now that I'm sort of knowing how to do it, I think I'll have a pretty damn good off season to go on to season three. Big key is keeping Adams and improving at guard and getting another forward. Cheaper forward than Torian Prince. A more effective forward than Torian Prince. Might have to go through the draft to get that. But, of course, we won so many games, we're not going to pick high. But I think I do got, that's the thing I need to check too. What is my draft picks looking like? My fault. Hate that I'm making this video a little bit longer, but I wonder what my picks are. Torian Prince has been added to the trade block. Need to see picks. Where do I pick at? Season records, make sure. Coaching, scouting. Here's an idea. Why don't y'all have where, you know, people can know where their picks are at. Box 
drafts. Of course, we're not in the lottery. I think we did do a trade where we get the number 13 pick. I'm not sure. Yeah, I do think we got the number 13 pick, so we can pick high. I think we do pick high, but I'm not sure about that. <sighs> That's our draft board. It's crazy that you can't like look and say, okay, here's my draft picks for I mean like the like the NBA does. You know, like um like the NFL does. That's crazy to me. Like I know I'll find to find it. But I'll be looking at it later. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. There's mock drafts. I know we don't pick it. Do we pick that early? I'm pretty sure we don't. But I think we did do a trade. I think I did do a trade. And I think with my one of my trades, I actually... Uh, my trades I actually did get some picks I did trade a first round pick though to get a uh, to get Steven Adams last year so I don't know I had to look at it uh, don't feel like doing it now well guys that's game seven Big Girl Wild are eliminated. And now we're going to go into the off season. And you guys get to go with me. Post that video on YouTube in the next two weeks to a month. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Sad way to see the season go, but it was a good run. We made it further than I thought we were going to make it. I thought we were going to get put out in the first round. So, And we, put, we extended the... Number one seed to a seventh game. So I think we did our job. I think we had a really good season. But I hope to improve for season three. I want to get to the finals. Western Conference Finals, NBA Finals is my goal next year. Anything less is, is a disappointment. But guys, I thank you for hanging out with me for a wild playoff basketball. See you guys for the wild off season for season three coming up soon. You guys have a good day. Solo Dolo out.